G'day, here is the Yamaha SB55. Apologies, it took a while to get this video. What can I say? I think this is a 1975. I'm pretty sure the serial number 12015, that five to me is indicating between 1973 and 1976 that that is a 1975. Please let me know if I'm wrong and I've stuffed up the serial number. Okay, let's have a look at the condition. There are some dings. As you can see, they're pretty slight for a 50 odd year old guitar or bass this thing has come up beautifully roll it through no cracks no breaks couple of little dings and scratches here and there whatever it's 50 years old i've got a few dings and scratches and i'm not 50 yet look through on the back as you can see a few little dings a little bit of buckle rash at some stage but on this natural finish it actually comes up really nicely. Now, a couple of things to note. This thing here, there is a truss rod cover missing. I have one. I'm currently importing it from Japan um, and I will make it available for the buyer. Obviously, truss rod access here, it is working fine. The neck is nice and, nice and straight. If you're wondering what this is here, it's a washer. It's slightly oversized, it's what I had on hand. Each one of the washers underneath these screws are original. This screw was missing a washer, so I've put one there in place. Neck is in beautiful condition. Binding is all on, all tight, never come off by the look of it. Go right through to the nut. I've secured the, re-secured the nut. Flip it over, as you can see, the binding is all good. Neck is nice and straight. The back of the neck, no evidence of breaks or cracks. A couple of dings, obviously, but it's beautiful. It's come up really nicely with a bit of a clean. And you can see there's beautiful grain here. I have no idea how it looks so good. And that Yamaha has come backwards now if you're wondering um and that is backwards it's not backwards in real life i've got this flipped over to me in selfie view so if that is reading backwards they haven't put the logo on backwards it's just the video angle okay so back to the grain you can see there's a really beautiful vertical grain on this natural finish but as you move through different light can you see how awesome that sort of flame is it's got this beautiful tiger stripe on one side of the guitar. It's not on the other side of the guitar, which I think is fantastic. It's got this more standard porous looking grain, the more traditional grain. And then you come across and it's got this beautiful flame. So what can I say about the, uh, the sound of this thing? Um, somewhere between a P bass and a jazz bass. Um, I'll give you a listen now. Let's whack on the neck pickup. Tone at 10. So this is fully open tone pots and apologies, I don't play bass, so don't look at my technique and freak out or anything like that. Ah, really quickly, this nut, nut width 38 mil, it's amazing. I've got big hands, but look at that. It's so easy to play, I can't even tell you. So that's with the tone at 10. Let's wind it back to about half. Now, if we, let's turn that one down. Let's go to the bridge pickup. Tone on 10, bridge. It's really nice. It's not tinny in any way, shape or form. It's got this beautiful color to it. and it has a real punch. It's a really, really 
really beautiful tones coming through this thing. So let's crank both of them together. This is where it starts getting really sort of rocky punch. Okay, so I won't destroy your hearing with my shit bass for any longer. What else can I say? Um, I love this thing. It's beautiful. It's unique. Look at that. Look at the, it really is the most unique shape for a 70s bass. Stunning, absolutely stunning. You're somewhere between the P bass and jazz bass and if you want to be different, that shovel head will do it for you. It's beautiful. In pictures it doesn't quite come up and it doesn't quite 